Evaluating projects is always challenging for both applicants and reviewers. Why is it important to evaluate? To provide learning that can be shared, to clearly communicate progress, to document which methods are the most effective, to track objectives as they are achieved, to inform our future approach and to provide evidence to support future funding applications. Successful evaluation has a clear starting point, measurable and realistic objectives, a clear end goal and will be included as part of your overall proposal, not as an afterthought. In order to establish an end goal, it's important to understand the difference between outputs and outcomes. Outputs are the direct products of the programme activities. Examples of outputs could be activities, workshops, CPD for teachers, festivals, broadcast programming, etc. Outcomes demonstrate how a person who attends an activity might have changed by the end of it. A logic model is a plan which will help you to identify the project's impacts and help you to develop milestones in the project. A logic model will chart how you expect to arrive at your outcome, identify the logical chain of methods and procedures that will lead to the intended outcome, help you not lose sight of your purpose should secondary outcomes occur. Evaluation design is a plan for how you will measure your progress at each step. It will detail what kind of data to collect, from whom, in what setting and how. It will also plan which methods are most suitable for your project. You should assess your target audience pre- and post-intervention to evaluate changes in attitude, outcomes achieved, what worked well and what didn't. Quantitative methods include primary data collection like surveys and observation and secondary data analysis of an existing dataset. Qualitative methods include interviews, focus groups, accompanied visits, ethnography and qualitative analysis of content. Best practice recommends to use a mixed method approach to evaluation. Tips for successful external evaluation only involve someone with strong knowledge of the evaluation process. Ensure that your requirements are clearly outlined at the briefing stage. Be certain that the methods and type of analysis and report will serve your requirements. Include clear quality indicators so you have recourse in case of low quality outputs. The highest quality evaluation reports will contain depth and proof of record, as well as an indication of how the data was analysed in full detail. Evaluation is key to demonstrating how your project meets its objectives. By utilising these tips from Science Foundation Ireland, you'll be fully equipped to complete an impactful, concise and informative evaluation.